Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Trade Chief. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Sage Therapeutics. Uh, they have a collaboration with Biogen on the drug that they're going to be producing. Uh, and they have an upcoming FDA review on 5 August. So, um, I got a couple of news articles that I'm going to look at for this one. We're going to start with their Phase 3 data uh, coming out of uh, Biogen. But it says, uh, Sage Therapeutics and Biogen announced Phase 3 Skylark study of Xeranolin and postpartum depression met its primary and all key secondary endpoints. Xeranolin is a 50 milligram demonstrated statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvement in depressive symptoms at day 15, the primary endpoint, and at day 3, 28, and 45, which were key secondary endpoints. Xeranolin, the 50 milligram, was generally well tolerated and demonstrated a safety profile consistent with prior studies. Postpartum depression is one of the most common medical complications during and after pregnancy, impacting approximately one in eight women annually in the U.S. Um, Sage Therapeutics, the host conference call, we don't care about that. Uh, this is uh, Sage Therapeutics and Biogen. Uh, tickers S A G E and B I I B. You can you can pick up either one of these. Um, I specifically chose Sage because it has a well, for one, the price target's lower and it's got a smaller um, float ratio, uh, smaller shares float at 52 million. So I chose Sage because I think it'll move more than Biogen will. Uh, but you can pick up either one whichever one you want but it's, anyway sage and biogen today announced that the phase three skylark study xeranolin uh, an investigational oral drug being evaluated in women with postpartum depression met its primary and all key secondary endpoints women treated with xeranolin 50 milligrams demonstrated a statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvement in depressive symptoms at day 15 primary endpoint compared to placebo as measured by change from baseline and the 17 item Hamilton rating scale for depression total score the least squares mean CFB and ham D 17 total score at day 15 for women who received the xeranolin 50 milligrams was minus 15.6 Wait. Compared with 11.6 for women. Oh, okay. I was looking for the placebo numbers. And I was like, where'd they go? I'm like, I don't say anything. Minus 11.6 for women who received the placebo mean difference of four. So, sorry about that. I got lost. I was, I was looking for. Like I said, the numbers and hadn't got to them yet. Uh, next news article we're going to take a look at is from March 8th. Uh, so let me scroll all the way back up to this. March 8th and uh, what's this one? This is uh, FDA to not hold a panel meeting for Biogen Sages to Depression Therapies or NOLA. So they're not going to do an ADCOM to evaluate it. Which generally when they don't do an ADCOM it's automatically approved. So not always but majority of the times. So Biogen and Sage Therapeutics said the U.S. Food and Drug Administration currently does not plan to hold an advisory committee meeting to discuss an application of seeking approval of oral medicine xeranolin to treat major depressive disorders and postpartum depression. The companies had completed a rolling submission of the new drug application to the FDA in December of 2022. The NDA was granted priority review by the FDA and the agency is expected to make a decision by August 5th. Xeranolin is an investigational oral drug being evaluated as a 14-day rapid-acting once-daily therapy for adults with MDD, major depression disorder, and PPD, postpartum depression, according to the companies. So, 
I think this one's going to end up being approved um, pretty unanimous, unanimously. We'll take a look at the last article. Uh, it says, Sage is upgraded to outperform at RBC on great confidence in zero null and approval. So even Seeking Alpha, who's generally a negative article, is announcing that it's going to be... Um, well, I guess they're not announcing, they're just reporting what RBC's saying. RBC Capital Markets upgraded Sage Therapeutics to outperform from underperform as it sees a stronger likelihood that the depression candidate Zero Nolan will win approval from the US FDA. The firm also upped its price target to $60 from $40, which is a 52% 50, upside based on Friday's close. Analyst Brian Abraham said that the recent announcement that the FDA would not convene an advisory committee meeting for Zeranolum holds well for approval. He sees a 75% probability of success. Also, a survey of physicians RBC conducted found that more are warming up to the drug which is being developed with Biogen given its fast-acting mechanism of action. The latest survey found that 25% of them would try Zeranolin in the first year, up from 19% in an earlier survey. RBC now sees peak sales of 1.9 billion for depression and 200 million for postpartum depression, so 2.1 billion dollars based off of this per year. That's a lot of money. So, yeah, I think this one, I think this is safe to say that it'll be approved. I think the I think the ticker Sage is going to move fairly well. Uh, currently, at, well, they said sixty bucks. So I think it's going to be less than that, but it'll eventually build up to that over by the end of the year. So, um, yeah, that's all I got, man. If you if you like this content, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Come check me out in the Banking with Billy Discord. Where we got all kinds of bots that alert us to everything that's going on. Um, and, you know, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to buy this or not. All right. Thanks. Have a good night.